Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. The opening lines to possibly one of the most beautiful and haunting songs in the English language. But what is the history behind the song? Well, welcome to Limavari, where the story of Danny Boy begins. The song is set upon a traditional Irish tune called the Derry Air, so called because it was discovered and collected here in County Derry. In 1851, a noblewoman named Jane Ross was sitting inside this very house when she heard the strains of a fiddler playing a beautiful melody outside on the street. The fiddler was a blind itinerant who was busking here on market day. Jane approached him and asked if she could notate the music for her friend George Petrie in Dublin, a well-known song collector who was trying to preserve the ancient music of Ireland. Sadly, she did not note the fiddler's name and he may forever remain anonymous. Fast forward to 1912 in Colorado, where a woman called Margaret Weatherly hears the tune being played by Irish immigrants. She immediately sends a manuscript of the tune to her brother Frederick Weatherly, who was a songwriter in England, and suggested that he use it in one of his compositions. Frederick had already written the lyrics of Danny Boy to another melody, but it wasn't successful. Upon hearing the air that his sister sent him from America, he realised that the new melody and the lyrics were a perfect match. In 1913, he published the Danny Boy that we know now, and it became a worldwide hit. Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. That's it from us here in Limavady in County Derry. If you'd like to know more about any of the songs featured on the programme, visit us at irelandinsong.com. Until next time, Slongafo.